Welcome to Croxton Family Racing. I'm your host, Adam Croxton, and with me, Chip Monkington. Chip? Thanks, Adam. It's great to be here for the League of Champions Tournament 2. Facing off today are the Pacific Division and the Plains Division. With the Pacific Division up first, top 12 seeded cars will be facing off to see who can wreck the best. Right you are. Our first matchup is our 12 seeded Blue Dimakini Veloce against our 11 seeded Chevrolet 350 stock car. And a wreck right out of the gates. That's what I love to see. The 350 stock car knocks the Veloce right off the track. The Chevy takes a 9 0 lead over the Veloce as they switch tracks. They take off down the track, and the 350 knocks the Veloce off one more time, sealing the victory. That is how it's done. The Chevy takes the win at 16 0 over the Veloce. Next up is the gray Audi RSE Tron GT against the Toyota Supra. Looks like the Audi took notes from the Chevy, knocks the Supra straight off the track. That he does, Chip. The Audi will take a 6-0 lead over the Supra as they switch tracks. I mean, the best way to win is to knock the person off the track. Everybody that's won has knocked somebody off the track so far. I mean, it's not rocket science. And the Audi nearly does it again, flipping the Supra over, but he remains on the track. And the Audi will take the win 12-1 over the Supra. Next up is the 8-seated 98 Honda Prelude against the 7-seated Audi Avis Quattro. They barely miss each other, and they go up the track, passing the center twice apiece. That'll tie them up 7-7. Boring! If they would have watched the first two races, they would have known you have to hit the other car off. Easy, Chip. Your strategy is not always the winning strategy. Not even going to respond to that. The evidence speaks for itself. We're going to switch up tracks. See if they can miss again. No, it looks like there is contact. The Quattro hits the back left quarter panel of the Prelude, pulling one of his tires off the track. So you're saying the Quattro hit the Prelude and is now going to win because of it. Sure. 10 seated gold LB Super Silhouette Nissan Sylvia S15 is up next against the 9 seated 2010 DuPont 24 Impala. Another snooze fest. They miss each other completely. Pass by waving slowly like they're in a parade. Stay next to the track, kids. I think they're throwing out candy. Take it easy, Chip. There's more races to come. The gold Nissan Sylvia S15 is going to take a one-point lead over the DuPont Impala. Let's see if they manage to hit each other. That's a negative. They might as well have been blindfolded, trying to hit each other from opposite sides of the country. Jeez, Chip, you're like the Cobra Kai half of this broadcast. No mercy. I don't get the reference, Adam. The gold Nissan Sylvia S15 takes a 14-12 win over the DuPont Impala. Ending our first half of the races, we are up now with the Plains Division. The top 12 cars are facing off to see who can move on. I, I'm not going to lie. I really want to see a tank roll over a car. You may just get your wish, Chip, but first off is going to be the 12 seated Darth Vader against the 11 seated Troop Convoy. Troop Convoy uses the light to his advantage, knocking Darth Vader straight off the track, back into the light side of the force. That'll give Troop Convoy a 9 0 lead over Vader as they switch tracks. He needs to stop gasping for breath and start force pulling some points his way. It appears he's turned himself off to the force. He is not going to be taking enough points to take home the win. You'd think for all the advances in technology a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away that uh, his suit would have given better mobility. Apparently that is not the case and he will take the loss. Final score, Convoy with 16 and Vader with 7. Next matchup is the All Shoot, seated 6 against B-Dasher Yoshi, seated 5. Oh, I know why his name is All Shoot. Like, oh shoot, this thing doesn't get out of first gear. He didn't even make it there by the time Yoshi passed through twice. Maybe he was hoping to hit him on the second time through. <laughs> right, Chip? All I know is if I had narcolepsy, I would have fallen asleep three times before he hit the middle. Yoshi will take a boring one-point lead over All Shoot as they switch lanes. As they race down, looks like they miss each other again. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were playing me a replay of the first race. Like time is on a loop. Maybe his name should be Oops, I Did It Again instead of All Shoot. Fair assessment, Chip. Yoshi will take this one 14 to 12 over All Shoot. Is it too much to ask for a tank to crush a car beneath its treads? I mean, really. Next race. Gun bucket, seated eight against tank meter, seated seven. They race down the track and they also miss each other. Sorry, Chip. Oh, sure. Now we get a tank that has a second gear. Somehow he was the speedy one here. I'm not sure how that happened. Well, however it happened, Tank Nader will take a one-point lead over Gun Bucket as they switch lanes. And me without my sleeping mask. You never know, Chip. This one might end in a gruesome wreck. Are you kidding me? These two couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. What a shock. Another miss. Maybe they found the slow creep of the tanks uh, scares the enemy, like a psychological warfare thing. More like the steady vibrations put him to sleep by the time you get there. Tank Nader takes this one 14 to 12 over Gun Bucket. Next race, standard cart Bowser, seated 10 against the X-Wing, seated 9. Looked like there was a little lag in our video, but it does appear that Bowser goes through and then hits the X-Wing on his way back. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you dosed my drink. Well, if I did, Chip, it wouldn't be to take you home, I'll tell you that. As if you stood a chance with or without it. 
Whatever you say, Chip. Xander Cart Bowser takes the lead 7 to 6 over the X Wing as they switch lanes. That first race traded a little paint, but I want to see some real wrecks here. Wish denied, they miss each other in the middle. Are you kidding me? Who's flying this X Wing? Jack Porkins? I'm alright, I'm alright, ah! I don't think so, Chip. If there was one thing Jack Porkins knew how to do, it was to crash an X Wing. You got me there, as much as I hate to say it. Judging by his flying, I'm going to say he was a Disney Star Wars pilot. Ooh, burn! Too soon, judges? Nope, we're gonna accept that one. Bowser take the win on this one, 15 to 12 over the X-Wing. And as we take a look at our brackets, we see the Chevy stock car going up against the blue Audi Quattro and the gray Audi RSE Tron going up against the Audi A1. The Audi Avis Quattro go up against the Corvette C6R and the two Nissan Sylvia S15s will face off. Troop Convoy will take on Amazoom and Yoshi will take on the 57 Ford Thunderbird. Titanator will take on the Roll Patrol Jeep and Bowser will take on the 86 Ford Thunderbird. Taking a look at our top 30, we see that nobody from today has moved into the top 10. We do have three that have tied for 11th place, the B-Dasher Yoshi, the Troop Convoy, and the Chevrolet 350 stock car. And the outer brackets continue. Indeed they do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, like our content. Comment on your favorites, and share with your friends. I'm Chip Monkington. And I'm Adam Croxon for Croxon Family Racing, signing off. As always, stay safe, be free. We'll see you next time.